to most people, paint is the color of their walls or cars. However, paint is more than that. It is used for decoration, identification, protection, and sanitation. So how is it made? That and much more on this week's episode of The Process. So much hue and color fills our world. That's why on this exciting episode of The Process, we take you with us to Thika to witness the paint making process. The raw materials are received mostly packed in sacks and containers containing different solvents and calcium carbonates. For the water-based paint, the raw materials include calgon, dispex, malgon, and texanol. Here we have so many varieties of raw material. We import raw material. We don't buy them locally, we import them. They come here, we receive them, we keep the we check the expiry dates. The paint production process begins with the weighing of the raw materials. The one in the buckets are solvents, but the one in bags are uh, calcium carbonates. That one is dispex in the bucket. It's used to prevent paint from forming and from or form. The dry raw materials are weighed accurately and to the gram. 13 items in total are weighed here. They are then prepared for transport to the machine to make the first batch. At this production area, the mixing begins. Now from weighing area, we are now at the production area where we can see is now starting the machine. The correct amount of solvents is poured in. This includes preservatives, water softeners, hardeners and binders. That first stage will give it 20 minutes for it to grind fast. The mixture is left to grind for 20 minutes. After which the calcium carbonates are added. After the carbonates, binders are added to make it sticky and ammonia for pH value. The paint has to be checked at each subsequent production stage against standards for the relevant product according to color and viscosity. We want to start a batch of oil base. For oil-based paint, the raw materials include long oil that is used as a binder and solvents like kerosene and dryers like calcium, zirconium, cobalt and anti-skin. The first thing when we want to make oil-based, we started with the long oil, which is our binder. We, start, we put in solvent, kerosene, that's kerosene. After that, we, we started the machine. It, uh, the machine has to run for 20 minutes. After 20 minutes, when it has mixed properly. Now you can add in dryers. After dryers, just you also mix for 20 minutes. After 20 minutes, we take it to the lab to check if it's the opacity and the viscosity is okay. Dryers are added after the first 20 minutes. Next comes the laboratory check. That is carried out for density, velocity, acidity, and color inspection. That glass, we check the opacity. If you look, when you look through that glass, you can see if the opacity is different or they match. Here, the new paint is now compared against the standard paint to check both the mass tone and the undertone of the paint. The laboratory is also responsible for inspecting as well as monitoring the quality of the production process. We check the pH value to see if the, the paint has pH value. When the acidity is low, the paint will not stay for long in the market. It will start smelling. So we have to make sure the acidity level is okay. Then after the acidity level, now we will now approve the paint for filling. This is in order to ensure that only quality products are produced. After approval, the paint is filled into containers. Both the big and the small containers are filled with the new paint, all packaged, put in boxes and ready for market. And that sums it up for the paint making process. Reporting from Thika in Kiambu County, Amnisi Imano.